Hi, Renee here. I'm going to show you how to make a recipe I got from Door to Door Organics. It's called Thai Peng Curry. Um, first, I want to tell you a little bit about Door to Door Organics. Um, we've been using them for about about two years, maybe even three. A uh, friend uh, recommended them to us, and it's a great company. They deliver produce and all kinds of other things. They they're going to start uh, delivering milk. Um, and they do eggs now. They do just, you name it, they've got it now on their list. So you should check them out at doordoororganics.org. Um, but what they do is they have recipes that you can pull up on their website. Here, I'll, I'll show you on my iPad there. This is my, uh, my order. So every week they give you uh, several different items that they pick for you. If you don't want those items, you just go ahead and go in and you sub them. And then um, they have, sorry, I was already in that. Okay, so then if you, they have, here's a list of different grocery items you can get. And then you can shop by recipe. So if you pick a recipe, say we wanted to do this one, you just click on it. And then you view the recipe. And then you can... Okay, then if you, you can go ahead and buy the ingredients from from door to door organics if you'd like. So it just lists all the different things you're going to need for that recipe plus the staples. And then if you already have it at home or you know want to get it at your local grocery store, fine. Otherwise, you can just order it and they'll just put it in with your order and um, and boom, it'll be in your box and you can just make uh, make the recipe. So. I, I love these guys. These are great. So they have some, some really neat recipes. This one I'm making here, Thai, thai Pang Curry. I haven't done this one before, but it looked really good, so I'm going to give it a try. Uh, the list of ingredients. We have 16 ounce shelled English peas, fresh or frozen. So I use the fresh ones that came with my door-to-door -door organic order. And you just shell them. Put them in a bowl. I have my son Justin help me. This is a fun project for kids. If you have kids, they can shell those for you. Uh, one can of coconut milk. So I got the I got this also from the shop at Door to Door Organics. And then one chicken breast, cut into small pieces. Here's my chicken breast ready to go. I cut it up in little pieces. You can use your you know whatever you like, what size you like. Um, again, I got this this chicken at Door to Door Organics. They have really good organic meat and jasmine white rice uh, again I went ahead and ordered this from Florida Organics their prices are very comparable they're, they're, pretty, they're almost exactly the same as your grocery store at least that's what I found up here in Eagle so um, they're you know so but but as you get the convenience it just comes to your door okay so I got the jasmine rice I already got that started on the stove um, and then you can put uh, basil that's optional for a garnish. Uh, a thumb size piece of ginger, and I already went ahead. I already went ahead and cut up all my ingredients to make this go faster. Um, I have a little tip on the ginger. I usually get a you know big piece and I peel it and then put it in the freezer. So then every time I need a piece, I just pull it out, chop off the size I need, and cut it up. And uh, that way your ginger stays forever because. Sometimes you don't always need ginger, but it's handy to always have it. So I just put it in the freezer and get it when I need it. Uh, let's see what else it come at. calls for a half a lime. So another thing I got from Door to Organics. Um, four carrots chopped into small pieces. Um, I used the, the what, on my last Door to Organic order. It came with a bag of. Uh, already peeled, ready to go carrots, so I went ahead and used those. I just estimated about how many four carrots would be of those. And let's see, uh, eight ounce can of uh, tomato tomato sauce. Um, I used the, the no salt added since it, this recipe calls for soy sauce to keep the sodium low. Um, and then it calls for two tablespoons fish sauce, and then a bunch of lots and lots 
of spices on this one. Um, I went ahead, I already measured all of them, but I'll tell you what they are. Um, it calls for a half teaspoon ground coriander, an eighth teaspoon ground cloves. I had whole ones, so I went ahead and um, mashed them into to ground. Eighth teaspoon nutmeg, half teaspoon cinnamon, a half teaspoon turmeric, one teaspoon cayenne pepper, one teaspoon ground cumin, one tablespoon chili powder, and one tablespoon paprika. So lots of spices go in this. So I've already went ahead and did my spices. Um, and it calls for four garlic, garlic cloves. I already got those ready here. And that's it. So I'm going to go ahead and start this. It's a really simple recipe. You, get your, you, you start your rice. So I've already done that. And then you put all your ingredients into um, a blender or a food processor. And I'm going to go ahead and use my, my food processor because that's what I like to use. It's a lot easier. All right. So we're going to go ahead and put all the ingredients except for the peas, the carrots, and the chicken. So everything else you will put in your food processor. Or blender. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. There's the tomato sauce, coconut milk, That is, um, that is Justin. I think you just saw sneaking up on the camera. Okay, so it takes two tablespoons soy sauce, or I like to use the tamari, the uh, reduced sodium tamari. Two tablespoons of that. Like I, I like the I like the Thai kitchen brand. They they carry this at uh, at my, at City Market, also uh, uh, Natural Grocers, Vitamin Cottage. Yeah. Okay. So now for the spices and the lime. up so that the seeds don't go in. All right. Just excuse me. Then you just take 
stuff from your food processor and Into the saucepan. Oops. Okay, good idea to take that out first. <laughs> Okay, then you turn it on medium heat. Okay, you add chicken, carrots. For you for the when you're doing chicken, I never never cut your chicken on the same cutting board as your vegetables. Or if you do, make sure you wash you wash your cutting board really good. You don't want to mix the raw chicken with any other foods. All right, so then. Then we're just going to let that cook up for about 20 minutes. And I'll go ahead and let that cook and I'll be back. Okay, um, I wanted to add one more thing here. First you get it to um, a boil. You get the heat raised real high. Get it to a boil, then you cover it, and then reduce your heat to low. Let that cook for 15, 20 minutes, and I'll be back. Okay, um, I actually cooked this Whoa. down for um, about 35 minutes. Um, up here in Eagle, things take a lot longer, so I don't know where the person was that wrote the recipe for door to door organics but took it up here it took me about 35 minutes longer to get the um, the carrot softened and the sauce to thicken up now we're going to add in the English peas oops okay got those added in and just stir that up and then we're going to let that cook for a little bit longer and that's it it's going to be ready so I'll let that cook and then I'll plate it up and show you what it looks like all right be back really easy recipe really easy so the hardest part about it is just measuring out all those spices really but and that's a piece of cake Okay, so Why now the um, I cooked up the, I put in the English peas, Yeah. cooked them up, and now it's ready. So I'll, yep. Um, yep. let me show you this. And you'll have to, you know, the times vary. I, you, basically what you want is all the basically. liquids to come out. And then your carrots to be soft, and obviously your chicken be fully cooked. So once all that happens and it gets to see that consistency where 
When I first put it in, it was complete liquidy. Now it's all cooked down. Now it's all cooked. And it's ready. Now okay, it's ready. so now we will. I'll show you. I'm going to plate it up. Plate it up. Tested. Okay, so just put some rice down. I'm a fan of the small plate. Makes it seem like you're getting Yes, she yeah, is, and she's going to be on tape. Okay. Throw a little bit of rice. So there you go. So there Put you the go. little basil garnish on there, like so. Like so. And here you go. And Look at that. There you go. And there you have it. So and there um, you have it. don't forget to check out uh, Door to Door Organics. Great company. And it's it's convenient. It's, it's cost. The cost is awesome. The, the, it's very comparable to your grocery store. So. Check them out, doortodoororganics.com, and try some of their recipes. All right, thanks, and we'll see you later. Bye.